Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Smackdown Chestnut with Thunder Punch. First game it gives me a Charizard. I'll take it. Let's go. So we're going to be doing tons of damage here. We're actually going to let this go and call that Dragon Claw and then just farm them all the way down and come out of this battle with energy. That's the power of Smackdown with Chestnut. Are you kidding me? A grass type and fighting that can take out those uh, fire types. Pretty awesome. So let's see what we have here. We're going to be pairing it up with Skeledurge and Shadow Ampharos. I seem to like to use those quite a bit, huh? All right, so yeah, this is a different variant of the last team because we do have SmackDown this time, but essentially the same team. And I just thought I'd show you the results here. All right, so Venusaur really can't do anything up against Skeleturge. A couple of Frenzy plans from a Shadow Venusaur will actually be enough to take you out pretty much, so gotta look out there, but we're okay here. They're bringing in a wall rain. We're just gonna go ahead and throw the uh, shadow ball here. And I do believe we're gonna be winning this game without using a single shield here. Even though we had a nice old Charizard lead. I know we had that SmackDown, but hey. All right, so yeah, calling that Icicle Spear and it is a wrap. This is another Icicle Spear. So yeah, we're looking pretty good here. For whatever reason, I had the tap sensor showing where I was tapping. I don't know, I'm gonna take that off here in a second. All right, so we'll go ahead and bring in the Ampharos and take the win. Yep, two shields looking good. Now we are gonna do some unedited here and then we are gonna do some transitions because this is actually gonna be over a course of two days. Um, so yeah, and also I let it sit a few times and we don't wanna sit there for like five minutes with a blank screen. All right, we have a Pidgeot, I mean Smackdown yet again coming in clutch although we are taking four times the damage because we are going to be grass and fighting and so well we're extremely weak to uh, flying so we're going to go ahead and throw in the amphros here and catch a feather dance unfortunately our attack has been dropped at this point so yeah tagged down by two stages they're going to be swapping into their magna zone which can't really take a hit and our brutal swing is still doing some pretty brutal damage, I suppose. Mirror shot, letting it go. I mean, we resist electric too, and it's probably gonna be best that they go for that so they don't lower their stats. Uh, another one, another mirror shot, I'm pretty sure that's what they're gonna throw here. Fan freaking tastic Our attack down by two stage Ampharos is still gonna be able to almost take out this Magna Zone here. All right, so they're pretty low on their health. I wonder if I can take them out and whoa, okay, we're gonna bring in this thing, okay. Uh, let it go. I mean, yeah, we resist that. They swap into their Pidgeot. We bring in the Skeleturge to go ahead and take them out. And they have a Snorlax in the back. This is pretty interesting. We're gonna be resisting, I would assume, both of their moves because they're gonna have Body Slam as well as Super Power, unless they do, of course, have Earthquake or Outrage. Uh, while that Lick is really gonna be doing a lot of damage to us here. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep throwing these disarming voices. And although we do resist these, uh, of course we're gonna shield them up because it is going to start adding up on top of the Lick that's really starting to uh, take us down pretty low. Bring it in that Magna Zone, and I thought I was gonna take a loss here, but it ends up being a freaking mirror shot and we survive it because it's not very effective and we take that win. All right, I mean, I was pretty happy. Yeah, we were having bad leads, but at least we have SmackDown. So I'm not gonna go on anything about some algorithm. I know it's pretty obvious in some cases, but uh, let's see what we have here. So in this situation, yeah, why would I retreat? <laughs> well, here's the thing. SmackDown doesn't generate energy. It's also resisted by Polyrath and they do have an ice move and they are shadow. So we're gonna go ahead and just bring in the Skeledurge here. We just shielded up an icy wind, that's not good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just throw that shadow ball. Maybe should have went for the disarming voice, but they're gonna be double shielding this damn thing. Okay, sounds good to me. Uh, we're gonna let that go, it's another icy wind. So they've dropped my attack by two stages. Bring it in a Gudra here. Get ready for that community day, folks. You're gonna see a lot more of these in Go Battle League. When it does get its new move, Thunder Punch, currently it does run Aqua Tail and Power Whip, as well as Dragon Breath. You could go with Draco instead of the Power Whip, but most people like to run that grass on it. And Thunder Punch is gonna be a decent addition to its move pool, although I would like to see something else like potentially Dragon Claw, but you know, you can't get what you want all the time. Maybe another community day, who knows? So we're gonna go ahead and farm them down, still holding on to one shield here. Gonna go for the Frenzy Plant. This, uh, oh, it's a damn Charizard, son of a gun. Ooh. All right, so they're gonna swap into their Polyrath. Is that a Polyrath still? 
Hey, they're all over the place catching left and right, huh? Well, not necessarily catch it, but I'm screwing it up. So we're gonna go ahead and let this go. And I couldn't believe it, it was a power-up punch. I I'm pretty sure that's literally the only move I would have been able to actually pull this off with. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, they would have hit me with an icy when it would have done a ton. Hey, but we still had a shield left, I guess. All right, looking good. I'm moving it on to the next game here. Let's see what they're going to throw at us in the lead this time with our chestnut with SmackDown. Amok? Okay, this this is good. This is good. We resisted the... Well, never mind. Uh, they would take it, never mind. They got poison jab. <laughs> Dark Pulse is resisted. Uh, but yeah, right, we're going to go ahead and just retreat. They throw it. We take that damage with the Ampharos and they're bringing in a Venusaur, which is not... It's not something Ampharos wants to see literally ever, okay? Uh, I love this Pokemon, Ampharos. Not so much for the design. I mean, I don't mind it, it's cool. It's a unique one, but more so for the moves and its us usability, it's great. It's very flexible. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bring in the Chestnut to farm down that Venusaur, and they're bringing in that Muck. We're gonna go ahead and go for the Thunder Punch here, and we're gonna get a shield out of them while they're doing super effective with that Poison Jab. Not necessarily looking good here for us right now and this chestnut they let it go we swap into the skeledurge and they're retreating with energy bringing in a swamper this is this is over okay see now uh, both of the moves are good for the chestnut as far as the quick move um the grass one is going to be generating energy faster as well as helping you do super effective to the things that you know are super effective like uh ground, water, etc. Uh, Polyrath matchups are going to be a lot better for you too. And of course, Swampert. So in this situation with SmackDown, it's not really working in my favor, but that's okay. Uh, you can't just say, oh, SmackDown sucks, right? <laughs> because it's actually doing amazing for us as you've seen with that Charizard. It's just, you got to take your wins and losses where they're at, right? You got to weigh them out. See, in this case, a Dragonite, freaking amazing matchup i mean it's not amazing it's it's good it's great because you know they're flying so we'll have to shield this up they're gonna retreat bringing in an empoleon i went for damn thunder punch didn't you see me tap that it, it's it, uh, it started happening a couple of times last night but whatever what can you do all right so down we go wanted to hit the damn thunder punch so we can have gotten there maybe twice but okay bring it in the amphro so we're gonna go ahead and let this go here getting to oh building up to two uh brutal swings here very nice as we do resist the quick move i do believe that's steel wing right yeah uh all right gonna go for another one here to go ahead and take them out as they're gonna be shieldless immediately swapping and they do have a for alligator in the back which is fine uh we just need to build up to the shadow ball here actually i think we I think we might take a loss here unless we can get one more incinerate off and get off the disarming voice then we can take this win here Oh, shoot. Unfortunately not. And I think they're going to be able to Shadow Claw me down with the... Uh... Oh, they have a Dragonite still in the back. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. All right. Yeah, taking a loss there. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Still having some fun here. And a Tentacruel. Okay. Well, yeah, this is where the... I mean, it's whatever. I guess we can go for the Grass Quick Move in this situation, but we're taking quite a bit of damage from their Quick Move Poison Jab anyway, so it's just not a good matchup all around anyways. Uh, but all right, it's all right. We'll just go ahead and stay here. Calling that Acid Spray. We're going to go ahead and shield this one up and then get to the next Charge Move here. Let's see if we can get their last shield. This is not going to do too much to them, but they do shield it up. We are holding on to one shield left. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just bring in our Ampharos here, and hopefully there's going to be a couple of Pokemon in the back that the Skeletor just going to be able to handle. So what we're going to do is farm them all the way down. Oh, never mind. I forgot that. Okay, so it's time for Ampharos to shine here. Bringing in a Greninja. We're going for that Trailblaze, taking them out while raising our attack. All right, our attack is up by one stage, and they've got a Ghost Jellicent in the back. So we're going to go ahead and throw that Brutal Swing with that attack raise, doing so much and able to get to another one. Do you see why I like Ampharos? Yes, it was all set up, and they were water types and such, but still, it's still an amazing Pokemon here. Always good for kind of uh, a swap in pairs up really well with different Pokemon. All right, we're met with Shadow Typhlosion here with Shadow Claw. Another situation we're having SmackDown is doing a ton of damage, getting to the Thunder Punch. This is kind of funny because we both have the new addition to our move sets, and I'm sure that's what they're going to throw here, and I am going to shield up because God knows what they're going to throw. I'm not trying to get one shot with Blast Burn. As a matter of fact, 
just to be safe, we're going to shield this one up too. And there's the blast burn. Getting both of my shields, not good for me. Shieldless games are never great. Now, I did go for the Frenzy Plant this time. I should have went for Thunder Punch, but that is my screw up. So unfortunately, the <laughs> Shadow for Alligator is going to be able to farm up to that Hydro Cannon quite fast. And we do have an Ampharos, but we're going to take quite a bit of damage here. So unless we're able to take them out, ooh, it's not going to be looking good for me here. So let's see what happens. And they're swapping into their own Ampharos. We're going to bring in our Skeledurge, and this is over. Okay, so what we need to do is come out of this with energy. But we can't allow them to stay out here too long because they just need to get off one more, I think, quick move to get to the next Brutal Swing. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. And unfortunately, oh, we do get to it. Never mind, I thought we were not able to. All right, never mind, I forgot the damn battles already. And taking the win up against Skeledurge. Oh, or taking the win with Skeledurge. <laughs> Ruining the moment there. All right, next game, we were met with an Ampharos and they're swapping into their Pidgeot. We're gonna go ahead and bring in our Ampharos and uh, pretty much just shut them down here. We can even take a Brave Bird. It is gonna do quite a bit of damage, but at that point, you're gonna be able to quick move them down even easier. And I actually will get to the Feather Dance, but it's still not enough. And also we got greedy because we want to farm them all the way down and come out of this with energy, but they lowered my attack by two stages. So uh, I guess it still works. We're going to do some damage to what is this, an Ampharos? Okay, that's something. All right, better than nothing. And we won that matchup and we have the swap here. So we're going to be able to bring in that chestnut and we went immediately without waiting for the clock because we both swapped at the same time. Although I am going to take them out sooner. So it could have been a better idea to wait, but they're shielding it up and I can swap already. So it doesn't even matter. We are going to shield this up because I feel like, what the hell do you have in the back? Why are you shielding everything up so much? So we're going to go ahead and just take them out here. Unfortunately, I don't know what Chestnut's going to really do for me anymore. A Polyrath, all right. So we have one shield left. We're fine. We're good to go. We're going to let this go, bring in the Skeleturge, and we can even take a Scold, and we'll be fine as we do resist the quick move here. It's no big deal. So we're just going to go ahead and throw the Disarming Voice right away here, and I'll uh, get to the next one after they do throw the scold and we're gonna let it go not as a flex but uh, you, so you can see too you don't really need to worry about that too much as long as you do have quite a bit of health there you'll be okay uh and uh taking that win fantastic skeleton i'm telling you it is a cheat code for go battle league and there you have it chestnut with smackdown oh we're gonna keep going here we got a few more battles never mind all right i don't even know my own damn video let's keep it going here fantastic you know one thing that i don't like <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy i know but uh so when a YouTuber makes a video that it's kind of short, it's like, I was just getting into it. Come on, make, make it a little bit longer than 10 minutes, nine, eight minutes. Let's get, so let's get it going here, like 14 minutes. All right, anyways, we're up against a Feraligator here. They did bait me with that Hydro Cannon. Now they could have Ice Beam. That's why I did shield that up. We'll go ahead and let this one go. And it is just gonna be another Hydro Cannon. Sounds good. And we're just gonna go ahead and go for the Thunder Punch again. Don't No need to go for the Overkill. Um, frenzy plant but they do survive and we will survive this as well very low health and they are unfortunately going to be able to get a decent amount of farm here so we're just going to go ahead and bring in the amphros they're swapping with energy and bringing in their steelix we're going to go ahead and bring in our skeledurch now there are various different moves that we should be afraid of when it comes to this crunch being one as well as earthquake of course uh, but that was fairly quick so we'll let it go and it's just a breaking swipe and i wasn't even paying attention if they lowered my attack or not I think they may have the first time and uh yeah we're looking great here now i think i could have took them out with the disarming voice but there's really no need to just uh, get greedy here it's fine they still have a shield left and we're looking perfect so we'll let this go i'm gonna go ahead and call an icy win unfortunately it's a scold uh, but we do have so much health left that we're going to be perfectly fine. And that Polyrath doesn't have a massive energy advantage here. So we'll be okay. And throwing that Trailblaze, we are going to get to another one here. By the time... Eh, I'm not going to risk it. I don't think it would have been enough to KO. So we're just going to go ahead and throw another one of these here. There's really no point to risk it. And there you have it, folks. Smackdown Chestnut is pretty awesome. Thank you for watching and take care. Control!